Hi, my name is Emily Ambrose and I'm a student here at Prep MD in the Fall 2020 class. Um, I'm from Providence, Rhode Island and I got my bachelor's in kinesiology at the University of Rhode Island. I'm Andrew Berry from Shelby Township, Michigan. I graduated at Oakland University. Hi, my name is Balo Patel. I'm a neuroscience graduate from the University of Illinois at Chicago. Hi, my name is Brooke. Um, I went to the University of Tampa where I studied exercise and physiology. Hi, my name is Garrett Gutenberg and I'm from a small town called South Bend, Indiana. Before I came to Prep MD, I was part of the construction industry as a sales rep. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm from Maryland and I went to Roanoke College where I studied health and exercise science. Hi, my name is Jack Balcom. I'm from Somers, New York. I attended SUNY Oneonta prior to coming to Prep where I majored in mass communications. My name is Joe Pompey. Uh, I graduated from Marquette University with a uh, bachelor's degree in biomedical science. Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Mary. We're roommates. I'm from Indiana. I went to Ball State and have a marketing and biology background. I am from Ohio. I went to Kent State University and have a background in exercise physiology. While these six months have flown by, we're, I've watched all of the things that we've learned over this time compiled together and being able to combine all the technical aspects with my hands-on patient interaction from the past has really proven what I came here to do. And make me proud of the prep MD. During my time here at Prep MD, I've really found the faculty to be the best resource because they've gone through this career before and they have a lot of different perspectives. I like how Prep MD has provided me the opportunity to connect neuroelectrophysiology to cardiac electrophysiology. So I was really lucky during my time here at Prep to go to Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center for clinical rotations where I was able to um, see some of their EP procedures and some of their structural heart procedures, which with my previous um, experience and background and working in a hospital as a rehabilitation aid, it just really helped reassure that um, this was the career path that I really wanted to take and helped reinforce um, my passion for patient care. So while COVID was going on, I did have the opportunity to get to a clinical rotation at UMass Memorial Hospital. Uh, one of my most memorable experiences there was getting the opportunity to work with PrEP alumni. Uh, they knew exactly what we were going through going out to clinicals as they were in our shoes before, so they were extremely helpful in answering any questions we had and teaching me the process of what they went through and comparing it to what I'll probably be going through. And it was just super comforting to know that they've been in our shoes and know exactly what we're going through and want to help us out. Uh, at UMass, I got to see a lot of different procedures, but I would say my most memorable one would be an SICD explant to an ICD upgrade. Just seeing how the technology has ch uh, changed and evolved over time, going from these big, you know, hockey puck-like devices to what they are today, just really makes me excited to see what the future is going to be like uh, for medical devices. Through hard work and determination, and through PrepMD's help, you will gain a fluency in this cardiac device space as well as the confidence to, that you can be a vital team member in any organization that you're hired on for. The thing that I really love about PrepMD is the faculty and all the classmates here really want everybody to succeed. A word of advice for future PrepMD students is to treat your classmates like your own friends, not competition. In the end, the only competition is yourself. I would say my biggest takeaway from PrepMD is meeting your peers, talking to your peers, this is a rigorous program and I would not have been able to do it without my roommate here and my other roommates. So I would definitely say the biggest takeaway is, I mean it is a competitive industry, it's a competitive field, but make friends because you need each other for this program. Yeah, going off of that, I think that is a main thing is your peers are going to depend on each other and as well as the faculty. So just not being scared to reach out and just be yourself and make sure you know it's okay to depend on other people yes, to I get know. you through. If you are willing to work hard and you have the means and you know you want a career in medical devices, then go for it. By all means, um, you will have fantastic mentors here. You will meet people who are just like you that you will be friends with for the rest of your life and uh, so many doors will, will open up to you.